Your local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Hi there, friends. I'm meteorologist Jeff Hanowitz. You'll notice that, yes, we had clouds in and out of our backyards today. Even this evening, we had a little bit of cloud cover around, but for now, the clouds are for the most part gone. Skies are fair, but we're going to have more clouds moving back in as we head, say, towards daybreak tomorrow. So this is 7 a.m., and you'll notice that we may squeeze out a little bit of sunshine early in the day, especially in areas east of the parkway. You'll notice also, though, as we head, say, a little bit closer to, say, lunchtime, we're going to start to see some scattered showers moving in first towards the mountains. Then by around 2, 3 o'clock, that chance for rain moves from the mountains more towards the Piedmont into Lynchburg and south side zones. And this is the area that we're going to have to watch for the potential for a couple of stronger storms as we head, say, after 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Notice as south side locations deal with perhaps a couple of stronger storms and still some scattered showers at, say, 6 p.m., the mountains are going to start to break out perhaps a little more sunshine. And then this front is fully out of here by mid evening tomorrow between about 9 and 10 o'clock. Then after that skies clear out and that will set the stage for a very, very nice day as we head into the day Friday. Friday looks to be a day where we're mainly sunny with low humidity. Maybe a gentle breeze around, but Good Friday still looks beautiful. All right, so congratulations goes out tonight to the Roanoke Valley. You finally did it. You finally hit 80 or above. It took a while for it to happen, but Wednesday's high of 81 was the first time this year that Roanoke has hit above 80 degrees. That's the latest first 80 degree day since April 17th of 2004 when you hit 82 degrees. Now, who has hit 80 degrees so far this year. Well, Lynchburg, Danville, and now Roanoke, you've done it. Lynchburg and Danville actually hit the lower 80s today as well. Blacksburg, you haven't quite hit 80 yet, but that will likely come here over about the next 45 days or so. 73 right now in Roanoke, 70 Lynchburg, lower 70s Danville and South Boston. You're in the middle 60s as we speak out across the New River Valley. Peak wind gusts today, well, certainly a breezy day, arguably windy. You had wind gusts at or above 30 miles per hour in Lexington, Covington, Danville, South Boston, also into Hillsville and Galax. However, good news to report, those winds have really settled down here over the course of about the last four hours or so. Right now, we have sustained winds roughly 5 to 10 miles per hour. The one exception to that is Hillsville, where you have a wind uh, speed right now at 14 miles per hour. Now, the winds have weakened tonight. Tomorrow, the winds are likely going to strengthen a wee bit again. We're looking at sustained winds tomorrow, roughly 6 to 12, gusting over 15 to 20 miles per hour from time to time. Now, I will tell you, if you do have a stronger storm tomorrow, especially east of the parkway, could have a couple of gusts over 40 to 45 miles per hour, but it should be short lived. It would just be under a thunderstorm for tonight. Partly cloudy winds are dying down. We're mild overnight lows in the mountains, 50s to near 60 outside the mountains, 60 to 65 for tomorrow. Clouds thicken scattered showers. A couple of thunderstorms will form from lunchtime on first in the mountains then moving towards the Piedmont later in the day. Highs in the mountains tomorrow, 60s and lower 70s outside the mountains, 72 to 70. Eight. Your extended forecast showing that temperatures stay in the 70s through Saturday. There were 60 to about 65 Sunday through Wednesday. Notice that we will have another chance for some widespread rain Sunday night into Monday, but let's talk holiday weekend forecast. Good Friday, as I told you, is beautiful. Maybe a stray mountain shower Saturday. Easter Sunday, you are looking dry during the daylight hours under a mix of sun and cloud.